Here comes the rain and the one fly that's chilling. All right. Is it filming? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is here it's avatar <laughs> you remember back in my video with axel when we sat down and talked in the car and we talked about a surprise cosplay at the end of the month and specifically since we're going to anime expo this year well here it is it's avatar <laughs> i was so thrilled when we decided to do avatar for expo avatar is a show that's been part of me for so long I have very specific memories for certain episodes like where I was at, like the episode in season two when they go against the wall. That episode I specifically remember my mom was gone for the weekend, my dad had to watch me and he's like, here I'll order you pizza. I just sat down and watched Avatar like it's been like a childhood show for me so to actually finally able to execute it and do really cool things with axel like i am uh, i'm so excited to bring this to the con i'm so excited to see people's reactions axel has worked really hard on this project more specifically with all the vfx that he is doing so today we are going to do a make tutorial for how i did my eyes for my guitar cosplay now instead of doing like the regular outfit normally you would see we decided to do the final episode outfits but we wanted to put our own spin on it so we kind of just went with what we saw and then we just built off of that and just made it a lot more i guess elegant almost just kind of like mixing our own style with their style and honestly i really like how our outfits came out shout out to alicia for helping us alicia they made all of axel's outfit and then they helped so the material onto this dress that I bought, so our outfits would match. So for this look specifically, I use Lethal Makeup's new Avatar collection. I specifically use the earth bending palette and the fire bending palette for this one. I saw their makeup launch uh, at the end of May, and I just had to buy. It. I had to buy it and test it out. So this is going to be a bit of like a review and how I'm doing my makeup for my guitar look. Now that I got all the blabbing out of the way. Here is how I did my eye makeup for my guitar cosplay. Guys, let's get into the eye makeup for today. We are mostly going to be using all Lethal Makeup and their Avatar collection. So I only got the three, but they're so pretty. This is the Earth Bending palette. I'll put the names on the left hand of the screen from top to bottom, but look how beautiful the outer covering is. And then the inside, I know it's a little messy, I've been using it, but these colors are stunning. And then here is the Fire Nation palette. Uh, the packaging for all these palettes were just so pretty. It just really gives the remnants of the Avatar <laughs> era. Um, the colors in the Fire Nation palette are probably my favorite. I just love some reds and golds and browns. They're just ooh, so stunning. That gold mm, saved my life. It is so pretty. First, we're going to start by doing my eyebrows. I have to do the eyebrows. I like doing my eyes first for these because of the glitter because you touch glitter and it goes everywhere so this gives me a better shot of not having it everywhere. eyebrows and I'm going to do a little transition and boom the other one is done. So next I'm going to take my P. Louise base so the eyeshadow pops more on my skin tone in white to prime my eyelids. We're going to get some tape because we're going to have this look being snatched. I did cut it down because it was too much and now we're going to blend the white into my eyelid. So next we're going to go into the earth bending palette and we're going to choose the color and say to go all over my lid and we're just going to pack that in to get the most out of the coloration and then we're going to blend it all over my eyelid 
And now when we blend, start blending to the crease, I'm gonna make sure there's barely any product on my brush and I'm just gonna blend upward to get a more seamless, smooth effect. Next, we're gonna dip into this brown color of Mashu and we're just gonna focus that on the outer corner of my eyeshadow look. We're gonna pack it on as much as we possibly can so we can get that nice brown pigment popping. After forgetting my Q-tips, we are going to use some of my silver water and we're going to cut the crease. I like doing this better so there's not so much product when I'm putting the glitter on top. So we're just gonna use a micellar water to cut my crease. See, it's kind of hard and it's better to do without makeup on my face because sometimes it drips down and don't wanna get rid of all the work you put in. So that's why we're starting like that. It's definitely giving trust the process right now, but trust me, it's gonna look so glam in the end. Next, we're gonna go back into that white base that I used before, and we're gonna reapply that in the parts where I took the micellar water off, just so the gold that we are going to use next will pop aggressively. You can see me looking down, I'm watching a YouTube video right now. Shout out to 8-Bit Ryan, one of my favorite favorite gaming YouTubers. So next we're going to take the Fire Nation palette and we're going to take this gold color and we are going to First, use the brush to pack some of it in, just to give a nice base. And then next, we're gonna go in with my finger to finish it off, to give it a very vibrant gold, for that gold to pop aggressively. Like you see, we see that, and now you're gonna see the difference between my left eye and my right eye. You see how much that gold just pops. Next, we're gonna take this green in the middle and we're gonna put that in between the brown and the gold. Now, I know it's like, why would you put more sparkle over sparkle? But trust me, it just gives a nice iridescent color to the look and it just makes my eyes pop even more because the eyes are at the front of the show, just like my outfit. My favorite thing is that these um, palettes come with mirrors. I love a good palette with a mirror because sometimes it's very hard to be like holding up two mirrors or trying to hold a mirror and do this at the same time. So I like that it comes with a mirror. That's just me adding more brown just to blend it in with the shadow so it's not very like structured. Like we want everything a little bit blended together. So here's me showing off the eye. Now I will say I should have done my eyeliner after this, but I forgot. And here's a little another transition and boom, the face is done. We're gonna do the eyeliner now and I'm gonna try to follow the line of my eyeshadow as best I can. Like I said, I should have did it when I had the tape on, but sometimes you just be forgetting things. After putting my contacts in from Nico, I'm gonna take that brown 
brown eyeshadow and put it underneath my eye as well. Starting with my side trying to put these lashes on. I'm not used to the very thin lashes, but I wanted my eye makeup to pop more than my lashes, so I was fighting through the nail to put them on. So here is the final look. It, it is so pretty and sparkly and shiny. Thank you guys so much for watching my makeup tutorial on how I did my eyes for my Katara cosplay. This has been such a really fun project and I got to do with Axel. We definitely had like our ups and downs for it, but honestly, after executing everything, it was worth the whole nine. If you guys are going to be at Anime Expo, we will be there all four days. We're going to be in California for a week, so we have a lot of content and friends that we are super excited to see. If you want to keep up with us for Expo and for anything else, here is my social media. Here is Axel's social media. We are going to be posting like no tomorrow. You're probably going to get tired of us at this point. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you. You can turn it off. I just have to get into cosplay and then. And yeah. then you're good?